Okay, so welcome to Math Storia, and let's have this problem. So write the standard equation of a circle that satisfies the given conditions. So we have this given, center at the origin, and the radius is 3 square root of 5. So from the standard equation of the circle, the center is h and k. So from this given, since the center at the origin, so therefore, h is equal to 0 and k is also equal to 0. Then to write now the standard equation of the circle using this formula, so we have x minus 0 because h is equal to 0, then to the power 2 plus y minus 0 because k is also equal to 0, then to the power 2 equals r to the power 2 and the radius is 3 square root of 5, then to the power 2. Then simplify, so this x minus 0 squared, the same as x squared, plus y minus 0 squared, the same as y squared, then e equals, so distribute this exponent, so 3 squared, this one is 9, times square root of 5 to the power 2, so just omit the radical, so times 5, then simplify, so we have x squared plus y squared equals 9 times 5, this one is 45, so this is now the standard equation of the circle. Then for this given, so center is 11 and negative 5, so this is h, and this is k, so h is equal to positive 11, and k is negative 5. Since the given is diameter, and radius is half of the diameter, so we have now 6 divided by 2, so the radius is equal to 3. So to write now the standard equation, so using this formula, so we have x, since h is positive 11, so this becomes negative 11, then to the power 2, plus y, since k is negative 5, so this becomes positive 5, to the power 2, equals r, or the radius is 3, then to the power 2. Then simplify, so x minus 11 to the power 2 plus y plus 5 to the power 2 equals this 3 to the power 2 is 9. So this is now the standard equation of the circle. Then for this given, so the center is 4 and negative 6. So this is h, this one is k. So h is equal to 4 and k is negative 6. Since tangent to the x-axis, so therefore r, so this one is x, this one is y, so tangent to the x-axis, so r is equal to 4. So the radius is equal to 4. So to write now the standard equation of the circle, so from this formula, so we have x, since h is positive 4, so we have minus 4, then to the power 2, plus y, since k is negative 6, so this one is positive 6, to the power 2 equals, so the radius is 4, then to the power 2. Then simplify, so x minus 4 to the power 2, plus y plus 6, to the power 2 equals 4 to the power 2, that's 4 times 4, this one is 16. So this is now the standard equation of this circle. Then for this given, so center is negative 4 and negative 2, so this one is h, this one is k. So h is negative 4 and k is negative 2. Since tangent to the y-axis, this one is x, and this one is y, so therefore the radius is equal to 
positive 2. So radius is always positive. So to write now the standard equation of the circle using this formula, so we have x. Since h is negative, so this becomes positive 4 then to the power 2 plus y. Since k is negative 2, so this becomes positive 2 then to the power 2 equals r, that's 2, then to the power 2. So simplify, so we have x plus 4 to the power 2 plus y plus 2 to the power 2 equals, so 2 to the power 2, this one is 4. So this is now the standard equation of the circle. Then for this given, so center is negative 5 and 3, so this one is h and this one is k. So h is negative 5 and k is positive 3. Since the circle contains this point, negative 7 and 1, so to solve now for the length of the radius, we're going to use this distance formula. So this is x sub 1 and y sub 1. This one is x sub 2 and y sub 2. So using this distance formula to solve for the radius, so we have x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So x sub 2, this one is negative 7. Then minus x sub 1, that's negative 5. Then to the power 2. Then plus, we have y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So y sub 2, that's 1. Minus y sub 1, that's 3. Then to the power 2. Then simplify, so we have now this double negative that becomes positive. So we have now negative 7 plus 5. So this one is negative 2, then to the power 2. Plus 1 minus 3, so this one is also negative 2 to the power 2. Then simplify, so negative 2 to the power 2, so we have negative 2 times negative 2. This one is positive 4 plus negative 2 to the power 2, also positive 4. So the radius now is equal to square root of 8. Since square root of 8 gives a decimal, so there is no need to simplify. So r or the radius is square root of 8. Then to write now the standard equation of the circle using this formula, so we have x since h is negative 5 so this becomes positive 5 to the power 2 plus y since k is positive 3 so this becomes negative 3 to the power 2 then equals r to the power 2 so the radius is square root of 8 then to the power 2 then simplify, so we have now x plus 5 to the power 2 plus y minus 3 to the power 2 equals, so d square root of 8 to the power 2, cancel radical, so that's equal to 8. So this is now the standard equation of this circle.